check it out, y'all. This big L Coleon representing DITC Flamboyant Records. And when I'm in Croatia, I'm checking out Top DJ Mag. You know what I mean? This side over here, say, only my side over here. I want y'all to say, say, OC. OC. Yeah. Uh, yo, I want my Brooklyn side on this side to say Big L. Big L. Over here, one more time. We gotta outdo that side. Say OC. OC. Yeah. Hold on. I want you to come back on this shit, though. Let's get the names. Let's get them all to the say something. We gonna go like this. Hold on. I want you to come back on nah, nah. we start this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want everybody on this side hold to on. say Fuck that hold side. Hold on. Since you almost started that shit. Alright, in house we got my man Vigel. What's up, L? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Top DJ Mag. Alright, so you on the tour with OC and OG, uh, just traveling around Europe and everything. Yeah. Uh, just a sort of an introduction for all the people out here, fans in Croatia, because you know you got fans out here as well. No doubt, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? Good looking out to all the fans out here in Croatia, you know, that supported me and supported my clique. You know what I'm saying? DITC forever. And I like to say thanks, you know, for all the support y'all showed the crew and everything. Alright, so uh, like a couple years ago, you uh, released your first joint, Life Size of the Poor and Dangerous on Columbia. It was it was one of the tightest underground albums. You even got like four ratings in the source and everything. Yeah, it was real tight, you know what I'm saying? I felt like the album was kind of before its time, you know? It was real tight, though, you know? Got a lot of sales, four mics from the source, you know? Put two videos out, you know? We released a couple of, you know, white labels and everything. And it was it was real successful. It was a success and everything, you know? It gave me a chance to, you know, go around the world and meet a lot of different people, you know, see a lot of different markets and everything, perform, and I'm just, I'm just loving it, yeah. You as well, like the youngest member of the Digging in the Crates posse, so, um, and as well, like on like six, seven tracks in the new album. Yeah. And the last shit that we heard was that enemy with Fat Joe. Yeah. It was kind of hot. Yeah, good looking out, yeah. We just in the studio one day, you know, calling the album in our premiere, you know what I'm saying, just walked in and had a track. You know, it was coincidental, you know, and he played it, and we just laid it down right there, you know. We just laid it down. You know, I had a rhyme, Joe had a rhyme, we thought of the chorus, Premier had the beat, right on time, you know, so it was right on time. <laughs> He was telling that you were uh, trying to establish your own underground label, plus the clothing company. So can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, in 98, you know what I'm saying, look forward to seeing flamboyant records, flamboyant entertainment, flamboyant wear. It's, 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 it's going to be on, you know. Right now, I'm just getting everything done, getting the paperwork done, you know, getting gathering everybody up, you know, that I want, that I want to be a part of, you know, the little organization. And we're just gonna take it from the bottom up, you know. But next year, we definitely gonna make noise. Flamboyant everything. Everything. So, uh, you based in Aptown, Harlem? We might even have flamboyant production companies, everything, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely coming from Harlem, you know. Born and raised there. You know, 139, Lennox Sav. The danger zone, that's what we call it. And, you know, you heard, you know what I'm saying, the danger zone, you know, you heard that on the first album. And, uh, you know, you can look forward to, you know, my man McGruff coming out, you know what I'm saying? He gonna represent Harlem. You know, I'm on a cut with him, you know what I'm saying? A couple of cuts with him. And, you know, Harlem on the rise. Yeah. 
Can't get it like that. Uh. You want to do it? You want to do it over? Okay. okay. Check it out. Uh. Uh. You don't stop. It's like this shit. And you don't stop. We gon' rock it like this shit. Don't stop. Live. Live. And you don't stop. Cause Big L is. Make your money. OC is. Make your money. OG is make your money. The whole Croatia is make your money. I rock the blue face Prezi, pockets heavy with Chetty. I met these two lessons in a Chevy, Benny and Desi. They like two Menage a Trois, the Blase Blanc with El Colio, cause I'm a suave yeah, star. No doubt, baby, more platinum rings. Me niggas looking at my ice from the chain to swing. In the party, pop darn, lampin' like a darn low key, smiling at the bitches with my. You can't fuck with the crates, cause we just too hot. All that mess you pop, I suggest you stop. Better quit while you ahead, cause you ain't built like that. Better chill, cause on the real cast, you killed like that. Two press tight niggas, clean cut niggas, flushed out cribs, rock twin act niggas, living life to the fullest, getting rich, ain't far, chilling with women, begging no more white sluts and stars. If you want it, we got it, ladies, body, no doubt about it, fly and exotic. When we on the scene, it's a major plus, and the rubber facing up. Dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Put up the L. Put up the O. Yeah. Going down like that.